capacity. Now, sometimes in our minds, we judge people based on superficial things. It could be, oh, these people have a language that sounds nice. I like their accent. You know, it could be physical features like height or skin color and so forth. So maybe in the first part of the verse, I said, okay, there's an action item. I need to go out and I need to learn from other cultures. But how do I pick who to learn from? Before I go astray, before I start making my own decisions about who's the best to learn from, Allah pulls me back and Allah says, Inna akramakum indallahi atqaqum. The most honorable of you in Allah's sight is the one who has the most God consciousness. Now, immediately I have to stop because God consciousness isn't something I can see from the outside. The Prophet ﷺ, what did he tell us about taqwa? He said, at taqwa ha huna. And he pointed to his chest three times, right? Taqwa, God consciousness is something internal. So I can't look at someone and judge whether they're honorable in Allah's sight. I can't look at someone and judge whether I'm better than them or they're better than me, right? And then the ayah ends, in Allah is fully aware. He knows Allah is knowledgeable of everything. Allah is the one who knows who are the most honorable in his sight. Allah is the one who knows the wisdom behind why he turned us into different tribes and nations. And Allah is khabir, Allah is fully aware. Allah is fully aware, for example, of maybe... Uh, the things that I have in my heart that are preventing me from getting this blessing of ta'aruf, of getting to know one another. Allah knows the things that I have in my heart that make me feel that I might be better than someone else, that make me feel a little bit, you know, iffy about learning from other people. Allah knows those things. And so in this verse, Allah is encouraging us to realize that there is a beauty in our diversity, that there is great benefit in getting to know one another and having a diverse community, having a diverse social circle. So Allah SWT, uh, gives this very beautiful ayah, which is very positive to spur us, right? To encourage us to see these uh, nations and tribes and cultures and ethnicities and so forth, to see them in the way that Allah SWT intended them to be 